The reason for this video is uh, I am currently uh, using the SBUS decoder as uh, input to an STM32 F4 black pill in, in another project and thought someone might be, uh, be interested in uh, an example uh, of how the SBUS uh, decoder uh, interfaces to the uh, black pill. Um, on the breadboard and um, is, is the STM32F401. Um, I use the uh, USB to serial adapter to load the code uh, to the STM32F4. Uh, uh, you can see that with the uh, blue and white wires. Um, it's, it's a uh, TX to RX and RX to TX. Um, the, the, the code is uh, already loaded, so the uh, adapter is just going to be the um, source of voltage and ground for the STM32F4. Also the uh, receiver that you see blinking and the um, uh, SBUS decoder itself. Uh, it's also connected to my iMac, so I have a serial display when running the code. You can see the uh, blinking on the uh, USB uh, to serial adapter uh, as it's sending off uh, displays uh, right now. And, and uh, when we get into the uh, demo, you'll actually uh, see the data. Of course, the uh, data that is being sent right now is just nulls because the receiver uh, has not been connected to the uh, transmitter. So we'll just turn on the transmitter and uh, get to the point where we select the receiver and you'll see the receiver uh, turns green and uh, now the data that's being sent uh, to the serial display is uh, the data that is uh, coming from the receiver to the uh, um, SBUS um, decoder uh, through this green wire and uh, the data is coming over to the um, uh, STM32F4. I'm only using um, 11 of the um, channels that the um, uh, SBUS decoder can use. It, it uh, has up to 16 um, channels. Um, what I'd like to show you now is, is the uh, SBUS decoder. Um, if you notice, um, let's see, if you notice uh, the front of the, uh, or the top of the SBUS decoder has a little LED to show you that the power is on. Um, that's uh, indicated with a little LED. Uh, the bottom does not have that. So uh, when I talk about the top, um, I'm referring to the place that has the LED. Now on the side, it shows you that the uh, top row here is ground, the middle row of pins is the voltage and the bottom row of pins is the signal. So um, you, you have channels uh, one through eight over here and you have channels um, nine through 16 over here. Uh, the S bus is right here. So when I've connected the, S, the um, receiver to the S bus, it's through this green wire and then I pick up the voltage uh, and the ground from the breadboard where I took it from the uh, uh, adapter. Now, you have to know that the ground on the um, decoder is uh, this whole row. They're all connected together with the other side also. So you really only need one of the pins uh, on the decoder with the uh, hooked up to ground, the same with the voltage. The voltage uh, on the second row is the same for this whole row as well as um, the row on the other side. Now, if you need to supply the voltage and ground, then you can use a uh, three uh, pin uh, socket and connect it, and then you can connect it to some other device. Okay. The, um, there, there's a couple extra pins here. This is a, uh, says RX, and you'll notice there's two pins here. And this top one is the RX, 
it turns out the other pin is the TX. So this is an RX TX that you could uh, hook up to a computer. And uh, if you, the, the uh, top pin over here uh, for this is a ground and you can just um, set it to this uh, bottom of the signal pin and that will enable using the TXRX connection to a PC. I've never done that, but that's what the literature says. The only thing I've ever really done is the fact of the ground, the voltage, and the signal. Now, each of these signal pins, are like in the yellow, uh, you can have uh, 16 channels, and again, I only use 11 here. These are the uh, 11 channels that uh, I'm using uh, that I showed you the wiring for from the uh, S-Bus decoder um, to the STM32F4. So this code is now running in the STM32F4 and the data is coming out over here. Uh, right now, um, like this first uh, column would be the throttle and then this column over here would be S1 and then uh, this column over here would be uh, uh, switch A and the very last column uh, would be the uh, lever uh, switch H. And what I want to do uh, before I go into the code is uh, show you, well, it's going to be hard to see it, but, uh, okay, this is the throttle. So um, looking at this first column, as I changed the throttle up, it goes to 19708, and I go all the way down, it goes to, 10, 92, 93. Now, the problem with these numbers is you're probably expecting something like 1,000 to 2,000. But what you would do uh, in the code would be to uh, look for the highest value when it's up. So that would be like 1908. And then the lowest value, which would be like uh, 10, 92, 93. And then you use the map function to take any value like if you were at 1552 or something and uh, take that value and map it from the uh, range that the gimbals give you uh, to the uh, 1000, 2000, and then you would get the right values of, of the, uh, for everything that it uh, gives you between, and, 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 you know, it shows you between 1000 and 2000. Different um, receivers and transmitters are going to give you different values. So it's easy just to take the range of the values that you get and map them into the 1000, 2000 range. Now, if I go over to this next column over here and look at the uh, switch one, if I turn it, you see it's moving. And if I use the lever at the very end, um, and you notice the very end column, it goes to 1907, and I let go of it, it goes back to a low value. Okay, so that shows you that the uh, code is actually working. And now uh, what I'd like to do is um, just go through the code. Uh, again, these are the 11 fields. These are the pins on the uh, STM32F4 that I'm using. Uh, There's still a lot of pins available. These are the um, uh, uh, variables I set up for the values of these uh, pins. And going down further into the setup, um, let's see, I show the uh, serial begin so that you could have this uh, serial display uh, of the uh, data over here. And uh, over here, I, I show the uh, pin mode as all of this is input coming from the SBUS decoder. And uh, it shows that, uh, 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 oh, I'm using an, uh, a uh, M uh, plus uh, receiver. It's a mini receiver uh, with access capability for the Tyrannus I'm using. And uh, I'm showing uh, uh, what uh, uh, channels I'm not using. And of course, there's five extra channels here. It could be set to anything because uh, I don't have all the switches and uh, 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 usable. I mean, I don't have all the switches that, that can be used. Um, anyway, that's the uh, pin mode in the setup. And if I go down to the uh, main loop, 
uh, the only thing you have to do is uh, to uh, uh, get the pulse in. Uh, I'll, I'll, let me just move this over a little because there's a comment here. Okay. Um, okay. It, it, what, what the pulse in does, it um, reads the uh, uh, PWM pulse in uh, microseconds. So um, uh, that's where the uh, 1088 or 2000 or 1000 comes from. And uh, it's also the microseconds that can be used to turn a, a servo or a motor. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't find anything, it times out, it gives you back a zero. So the data that I'm getting uh, comes from these pulse in. And uh, um, if I go down further, the only thing I'm doing is just printing them out. So that's all of the code. Uh, there's nothing very fancy about it. Uh, it's just a very simple um, interface that you can use for anything. You can control drones, you control robots, you can control anything with it. Uh, the only difference that I, I'm going to be doing in my future uh, project is uh, I'm writing my own flight controller. So therefore, I need to uh, be able to take these um, PWM uh, uh, data and, and uh, uh, map it into uh, a roll pitch and yaw. Okay, well, that's basically uh, what I have to tell you about the uh, S-Bus decoder. Uh, thanks for watching.